Hello everyone, welcome back to Getroy Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix Maiden NFL24 is having audio or sound is not working, it is popping or it is completely muting up and how we can fix this issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. The first one is audible, you have to restart the game. So whenever you are having this issue, all you have to try with a simple restart. Sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. For this, we just need to go over here in the start, right click over here and go to this particular icon. Go for restart. Once the restart is successfully done, just try launching the game and see whether the issue is still there or not. If you find the issue still there, then you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to run the audio troubleshooter. For running the audio troubleshooter, we have to go over here in the search, navigate to settings. From here, we have to go over here in the system, keep scrolling down and navigate to troubleshoot. Now from here, we have to go to other troubleshooters. From here, we have to go to audio. Now from here, we have to click on the run and we need to run the troubleshoot. So from here, you can uh, run the troubleshoot and they will be cross checking every single things. And if any issue is there, they will be letting you know whether you are going through any kind of issue or not. So that is what you have to do when it comes to how to do this up the basic step. Once you cross check this one, restart is done. The next one is all about we need to cross check the volume mixer over here. So right now, as you can see, so this being set into 100 percentage, we have to cross check this. If this has been set into muted and you're trying to play the game and the audio is not there, then definitely you'll be having the trouble. So just cross check that you have to make sure this is set into 100 percentage. Now go for the settings from here and also go to the sound. So from here also you have to check the volume has to be 100 percentage and here also the volume has to be 100 percentage. So you have to set this to 100 percentage. If it is muted, you'll not be able to hear anything. So just make sure this is set into 100 percentage as the step. Next one is apart from this is all about we need to make sure that you have selected the right speaker. For example, as you can see, the speakers has to be selected. Right now, I have selected the speaker that is Realtek R Audio is the speaker of my computer. So same way for the microphone, I have selected the right one. So you have to select the right speaker over here or else you'll be having the trouble. Select the right speaker. So over here, we have to select the Realtek R Audio and also you have to select the Realtek R Audio here as well. So once you select the right speaker, you have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about we need to set the sound sample rate into 48 or 44 kilohertz. So just go over here in the search and we have to go to the control panel. From here we need to go over here, we need to go to the hardware and sound. Select the sound from here. Now from here you have to select the speaker. So we have to right click over here and go to the properties. Go to the advanced over here. Right now as you can see there are many options 16 bit 4400 hertz, 16 bit 4800 hertz, 24 bit 4400 hertz, 24 bit 4800 hertz. So you can select the respective one which one you need, select this one and go for ok. Go for this ok as well and once you set this up just close this, go back and try launch the game. If that is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to make sure that is, you have to turn off the spatial sound as well. For doing the same, just go over here in the search. We have to go over here in the control panel. From here, we have to go to the hardware and sound. Go for sound over here and we have to go to the speaker. Right click over here and go to the properties. Go to the spatial sound. Make sure this is turn it off. So if it is turn it on, we have to turn this off. Once you turn this off, we have to close this. Close this as well. Close this and we have to go back and try launch the key. This is what you have to do. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there and you are having a lot of trouble, the next one is we can try with disconnecting the controller, disconnect everything and you have to start the game once again. That means if you are trying to play the game, just remove everything from the USB port. If the controller is connected, remove everything. Once you remove the everything, you have to launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, just connect back the controller. If you wanted to continue play the game with the controller, just connect it back and try playing the game and that will be working fine for you guys as well. Next one is all about we need to disable the Oculus. So just go over here in the search over here and we have to go to the control panel. We have to go to the hardware and sound, select the sound once again. Now from here we have to select the speaker. So you will be able to find the Oculus over here. And if you find the Oculus here, you have to select this one and go for disable it. Select the Oculus. So I am not having the Oculus here. You have to select the Oculus and disable it. Once you disable this, you just need to close this up, go back and try launch the game once again. Still the issue is there. You can try with verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, select this one, right click and go to the properties. Go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. 
So this is going to take a little bit of time because it will cross check every single file of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So you just need to click this one and you need to wait because this is going to take a little bit of time. So once you're done with this one and you can try launch the game. Lash and Leash one is all about we have to install the audio driver. So just go over here in the search, right click over here and go to the device manager over here. Now from here we have to go there and we have to find the audio over here sound and video over here now from realtek r audio is the my driver so select this one and go for update driver search automatically for driver make sure the driver is up to date if you don't have the driver you have to install it as well so these are the possible workaround can be done when it comes to how to fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye